and Shona just opened the door. What's the magic word? It's please. Oh, it's abracadabra. <laughs> Can't believe you fell for that. Are you finding this funny? Not in the slightest. Listen, why don't I ever go? What have you got to lose? <sighs> yeah, be my guest. I mean, you charmed enough ladies out of their pants. How hard can a house be? Oh, Adam, do you know, I'm sorry, but sometimes I swear you bring out the worst in me. Go on, she's all yours. Shona. Jaga. OK. I'm out of here. Are you bailing on me? Oh, my. Why am I not surprised? I was going to suggest to pick the kids up. It's not like you're going anywhere anytime soon. Right. Oh, um, thank you. Sorry. No worries. There's hope for you two, yet. Yeah? No, you do not get to give me relationship advice. OK, we'll just get changed and I'll bring you a snack up in a minute. Thanks again for picking them up. Hey, no problem. So how did you manage to get Sean to let you in? Um, I just made her realise that she's been incredibly unreasonable and... No, she said that I could take her clothes shopping because she started to dress like Gail and that's not happening. Not on my watch. Interesting negotiation technique. Yeah, I was desperate. I'm not proud of myself. Oh, and she's got something she wants to ask you. Sure. Fire away. Promise is a promise. No, you blackmailed me. Oh, now you're splitting hairs. Come on, we're waiting. I was just wondering if you maybe wanted to go for a drink at the Rovers. Uh, oh, like, but, you know, obviously, if you've, if you've already got plans. No, no, I'd love to. I'd love to. How about we do the bistro, though? It's a bit quieter. Yeah. Yeah, cool. OK. Right, OK, should we say, like, half six, then? Yeah, perfect. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye! You're still a nightmare. Yeah, and you were welcome. You know, I never realised until today that David might have the patience of a saint. I mean, how he deals with Shona full time is beyond me. He loves it, I guess. Yeah, but, you know, that kind of chaos day to day can't be easy. He probably thinks the alternative's worse. The alternative? Yeah, having an empty life. I'm sorry about the dig earlier. I know you were trying to help me. Don't worry about it. You know, for the record, you don't just bring out the worst in me, you bring out the best, too. I think I forgot that somewhere along the line. You didn't forget anything. I drove us apart. No marriage can work when there's three people in it. You should have been my obsession, not Gary. Do you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's the past. But you have to want that, too. Yeah, of course I do, 100%. Because, you know, a clean slate, it means exactly that. I agree. Well, I'm not saying that we can rewrite history because, you know, you slept with someone else. Yeah, and I can't defend that. Well, no, I'm not asking you to. I know you said it was just sex. And I believe you. It still hurts. But... But it's not like she's around to rub my nose in it every day. <clears throat> Listen, Sid, I, um... Look, no, no. It, look, I know that you're truly sorry and you... You still love me. More than anything, but, uh... Then there's nothing else to say. Yeah, you're right. As per usual. See, it's like we're in sync already. Well, unless there's anything else you fancy sharing with me, maybe we should order. The only things I want to share with you are an extra-large pizza and a warm bed. <laughs> 